Larry Zabisco, the new heavyweight champion of the world, but I have to say I was at ringside and there were a few moments there where I don't think you were sure who won that title. You know, I was, I was prepared for the stab in the back, but you know what happened? I saw what happened. I've got the Holy Grail, and now peace and harmony are ruling the universe of Larry Land because justice has all been put back together. All right, just you know, in I your eyes. Shut up! Shut up. Scream all I want about injustice. You know what? That's the same injustice I felt when I flew 10,000 miles to Tokyo and was ripped off in front of your whole nation. But now, I got it back. And you know what? I got it back by a referee who hates my gut. So, what are you going to complain about? You know what? You guys are the nation to cry babies. And I, sir, is what I am. Tell what I am, bitch off. You are the heavyweight. They are connected with Sports Center here on ESPN. We are Fox Sports Center, and all these so-called authorities with physiques, where obviously they have never participated in a sport in their life. I think they got confused with Vince McMahon Jr. If you want to prove to the kiddies that you can do more than tear off your T-shirt or hold your ear, I'll even give you a shot at the heavyweight champion tomorrow. So we're on ESPN. I wonder if Teddy Turner's got the gut to put up the TBS champion against ESPN heavyweight champion, and that's me. All you gotta do, boys, is sign the dotted line and get behind Slaughter and the world's strongest man, Ken Patera, and Don Morocco, and Greg Gagne, and Wahoo McDaniel. All you've got to do is have the gut like I did for 14 glorious years. Jason liked his back and forth until I became the king, the top of the mountain, the champion. I guess that answers all the big shot questions, huh? Basically, anybody, anytime, anywhere in the world, in front of any crowd, Larry Zabisco will wrestle. I'll walk in the heavyweight champion of the world, and I'm going to walk out the heavyweight champion of the world. My career will always continue. Why it happened like it happened? Because he has turned out to be nothing but another creep, another piece of slime, another scum that has been a step on my bandwagon of success, the bandwagon that I pulled out for myself with my gut and my fortitude and my brains. And he hounded me with letters and he hounded me with telephone calls and I don't want to do nothing with that test, but he's gonna hound up in my moment of glory. Another victory for me. And no one's hogging on my spotlight because I worked too hard for it. You're going to have one moment of glory in the garden, and I'm going to end that real quick. You know, I would expect something more original. He's a man here that claims himself to be so great. And he is good, Bischoff. Seven, eight time world heavyweight champion. He's known all over the world. And he's got a reputation as big as Sam Martino's and Nick Bockwinkle did, okay? So, of course, it's his greatest moment. Anybody in this wrestling business that puts on a pair of tights, his greatest moment would be getting in the ring with the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. You even bring up this cockamamie start, but I've got to walk out and get in the ring with this man. Don't try to frustrate me, Bischoff, because I've lived up and beyond every reputation and expectation in this wrestling business since I first stepped in this ring 15 glorious years ago. Let me tell you something. I am the man that mangled Sam Martino. I'm a man that crippled up and put out a commission, Nick Bockwinkle. And you know what you are? Aside from being a fool that's going after that gold ring, that holy grail that you cannot possibly grab, you're going to be the third notch on this belt.